Hi everyone. This video is part of the Vision Basic series. In this one, we carry on um, discussing the objects. Today, it is about reduced speed areas. Reduced speed areas are objects that, that you can place on links. It is a long object, so it's not a point or a cross section. It is actually like it has a length. You create the same way as you create a link or a connector. You just need to create it on a link or a connector. So what you do is you hold on control and drag it with the right mouse button. You notice that you can't drag it over uh, from one link to another or to a connector. So you need to stop it there and create another one. The difference between a reduced speed area and a desired speed decision is vehicle will slow down when um, it is over the reduced speed area so it will adjust the speed before so it will make sure that it will drive it to given speed when it arrives and once it is off it will go back to its original speed it had here so it will start accelerating the same way you need to add uh, desired speed so like the speed distribution for each vehicle class uh, we usually uh, use uh, reduced speed areas and, and turns, corners or if you have a place where uh, I don't know, vehicle usually slow down maybe there is a speed bump on the road or something like that you just usually at a very uh, short and a very low speed one there is also deceleration. You can add how fast they can break or how strong it will break. The proper speed. So Wisim has an inbuilt system now for these, um, only in the newest versions. But so if you double click on it here, you see radius origin calculated or user input and what the radius effect is no effect drift break if you go to network settings speed limitation in curves you need to untick it in order not to have a on automatic slowdown you need to be very careful if you open an old model before 20 version 23 i think if you open a version before that in a newer version you need to make sure that you check what is ticked in in the new one because if you take the speed limit on and you still have new speed areas you basically apply two systems so you need to double check what you should be doing there either use this and then remove that and set up the proper radiuses and check the within function in the manual so make sure that you are clear what is going on there and you can also drag these you can just move them around let me just show you some basic settings here so some recommendations for speed this is just recommendation so just basically like a starting point um, distribution desire speed So, for strong braking, strong braking for turn radius is like below 20 meter. You can use something around between 18 and 29, the lower bound and upper bound. For medium braking, 20, 30 meter, somewhere around 33, 41. And then for low braking, 30, 45 meter radiuses, and 44, 50. So you can set these up and you can start from these. But the right way to do it is that you undertake surveys on the site and you understand what we will actually do and then apply that um, profile here. And then that's the way you need to set these up. And you probably want to set it up the same way as they would drive. So if it is a long curve, just make sure that you set it the way they, they would drive. Yeah, something like that. Okay, thanks a lot for watching.
I hope it was helpful. See you next time.